Hi everybody. Well, I just wanted to give this next video a bit of an intro because God knows it needs it. It's terrible. Towards the end, it gets really dark. Uh, the reason I've included it is because it's so important to show you how I transform the white Maine Coon into the Christmas cat angel. It's a key part. I didn't really think it would work out, so I wasn't too worried about light. Um, so that's why the light is so bad. So I brightened it all up at the end so you can see everything, um, but it's not brilliant. So I just have to include it. You know, even though the video is terrible, I just have to include it because it's really important for you to see. And uh, if I was wanting to do a cat like this, when I was really learning at the beginning, I would love to have seen this and how it was transformed. And you don't really often see things like this. You don't often see how you make, you got over a, 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 you know, well, either a mistake or just decided to make a real big change like I have with this. You don't see those things usually. So I wanted to show you um, how I did it. And like I say, I didn't know whether it would work or not. I really didn't because I've never done anything like this before. And I just thought, well, it's probably not gonna work. But it did work, it worked out really well. And that's why I'm including it for you. Um, so you can either decide watch it or not and just jump to the next video. It's totally up to you. But if you want to see how I put the headdress on over a, a finished cat's head, then you're going to need to watch this. So anyway, hope you don't think it's too awful. Um, yeah, I really know how to think, give things a bit, big build up, don't I? <laughs> so what are you going to do? Anyway, here it is. Watch it or not. It's up to you, totally up to you. It's for you, it's for everybody that wants to see it. Okay, okay, here we go then. Get ready. Hi everyone. Um, well, I've taken quite a detour in this picture. I've decided to um, uh, convert this lovely white mane coon into a, a Christmas cat angel. So, um, uh, I'll show you the start of the picture, the bits that I can show. Um, I started this, this, is my pra this was my practice actually, my first videoing sessions were this cat. And I just thought, well, I can use this, I can use this videos that I've already made, I think. I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, it's going to be a bit more editing um, ability needed for this, I think. Attempting this in a... A different way I wouldn't normally do do it like this uh, I don't know if it's going to work out but we'll, we'll see anyway let's have a go yeah. okay so I've zoomed it in quite a bit more so you can just see this is what I'm attempting to draw on now and of course I'm going over his fur because um, we're already done but what I'll do is when I come to colour this all in, um, I will just take a bit of the white off. Um, I think it's not so important on this one because white is needed underneath this. But I really want this to be an intense red. And um, I've just done a quick kind of botch up really on the Pixelmator. But I'm just, so I'm just gonna draw this on and then I'm gonna just colour it in and see how it goes. I've taken off a lot of the dark pastel up here with the putty rubber and I've also used a little brush to brush off the rest of the pastel out of the paper. It's, it's light grey, this paper, it's light grey, you, you can't really see it anymore, but maybe here at the edge, maybe you can see that. Um, so it's, it is, it's, it's still very dark, but that, that will be alright, I'll be able to go over that with a nice bright red. Uh, and, and these colours, as I say, have been much more intensified. So let's get on with it and see how it goes. So this is going to come about here, I think. So we've kind of got this kind of about here. And that's going to come through there. So all that is, that's, that's going to be all green. Just get the basics in here. Um, 
the way I've done all this is I've just measured really. I'll show you quickly because it might interest you. So I've just kind of measured how far up I want this from his eye. Just sort of use this, the bottom of that red uh, Ponsettia they are, they're Ponsettia flowers. I've just used that um, with relevance to where that comes on his ear. That kind of thing really. And this bit here, where does that come on this ear? Down here. I've used this as a guide. That, that's still showing there. That's, that's all going to be red. I, I would like to take a bit of that white off before I do that. And there's a bit of darkness in there that I can keep there. So basically we've got this bit in there. See that? I'll just go over that a bit in red where so you can see it. These are these bits here. They're quite nice orangey. So I'm going over that yellow in, in the red. So yeah, these are the green bits. So we'll just get these on. These are going to be more silvery, but I'll just I'll just kind of mark where they are. That's coming up there. That's going to be all green kind of around here. Just literally just put, put it on where I think it's going to be. That, that's going to be all red under there. These are going to be kind of green around the edges here. Just bitty. Just give us an idea there. Just give us a little feel of where it's going to be. That isn't, you know, that, that's just where I've kind of cut around it, so on the pixel meter I just, just looped it around. So this is going to be all green here. That's quite silvery, but it will have green in it. Because as I say, this is a much, what I want is a much more intense colour than we've got there. Just Jazz everything up a bit. And that's that's around there. This is all green. There's quite a bit of green in here, isn't there? Just literally. Actually, if we go over the top of that white, you can see it's just picking out the tops of the pastel I've already put on, and it's actually made some lines in there. Look. I'm just going to now just do the same thing here, so we get that. That liney effect in. Yeah. This is going to be coming down here. Like that. That's more golden here. We'll leave that. We'll just do this. This is more silvery, but I'll just, just put it in so we know where we're going with that. And that's coming up here. And then we've got some hairs, some nice greeny stuff coming up there. And we've got some green here, but I don't want to overdo this because I think it's a little low. So we'll just we'll just give a hint there, I think. And we've got another ball in here that I need to put in. I'm not sure that I really want to put that in actually. I think I'll just Move this over a bit. I've had to put that there because of the, this is intensely coloured under here. I've put in black and put a lot of blue, like a midnight, and now like a midnight blue, in case you can't see the colour, but it looks very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so we'll get some fairy bits through here. There's a bit of green under there, see? So we can put those, we can put that in, and then we have some green coming around here. Not this bit, I think it's it's just too, it's just too low on his eye. We want to clear his eyes, so his eyes are showing. Uh, I'm going to intensify these eyes a bit. When I started this picture, I started it with a set of 12 uh, Faber-Castell pencils, um, which which are quite limited. But, I mean, you've got quite a nice effect with just two blues and a white in there. Two blues, white and a black. 
and the red. I put a little bit of red in there. But I think I'd like to make a more turquoise like this. That'd be nice. That'd be better. And under here, of course, we're going to need some shadow to give it a, a reality effect. So we're going to need something underneath. Whatever we put there is going to need to be darker. It can't be white, because if you see here, there's shadow under his chin. Um, so you're going to need to to work with that really. And this is this is red. This is coming across here. A little bit here and there. And then we've got some kind of coming through there. Right, so it gives a bit of a, an idea there. Now, I want to try and get some bright red in there. To begin with, what I'm going to do is take a bit of the um, pastel off. So we'll take a bit of this off, this white. See it's coming off? Very gently. You can see the paper's come in through already because I actually used the colour of the paper. Um, I haven't filled in all those little bits. Very little, very little pastel on there. You can see it's coming off nicely. We're leaving white on here because we'll just get rid of that double line there for now. Give us a bit more of an idea there. In fact, just even taking this pastel off here, it's given a bit of a shadow under there, give us the effect, you'll see that effect is, is, is going to be important there. As I say, I've not done anything like this before, so it's always the first time. I'm just going to carry on with my principle of just copying what I see just copying exactly what I'm seeing here in the picture and it should come out all right. I think it, it can only really go wrong if you leave things like the shadow out where it should be. I've got some stuff going on there. We can always put this white back in if we want to. Yellow, I think some creamy orange yellow. This is a good colour to get in this. We'll just put in this this effect of this is gonna be coming through here. quite white underneath so you can kind of we'll just fill that in for now just to show that it's a, a ball ball just give us an, the idea that that's the ball ball there and then we've got the other one here we'll just fill those in I like 
and these little bits here. It's um, it's looking a bit like coral, isn't it? Very pretty. Make sure those black bits are left. There's a couple of bits going through there. Just seeing where that's come out to, because it looks looks nice as it is. So it's kind of there. That's about right. That's okay. I'm just going to droop it down a bit more though, because I think it's sticking out. It's just looking a bit weird. We'll put it down here a bit. There we are. Got that there. Take the black off there. Right, so we've got a bit of the green stuff on. There's a bit of this kind of nice stuff coming on here. Around here. That's quite sweet. Just this idea. Possibly we'll take a bit of this off. See, I don't want to just take it all off because it might be really useful. Let's take it off wherever, wherever I want. in the day actually so can't really get a good feel of where the, this red should be exactly up there but it's, it, it doesn't have to be dead on for now we can we could just get this basic the basics in then I'll just check the video and see if it's any good I'll zoom right in for this so you can see see what's going on there bit of colour through here. It's quite nice. And in here. Let's see if a little bit. Now for doing something like this, the, the light at the moment isn't great, but it's helpful to me because I'm not getting bogged down in any detail. I can just literally go for taking an overview here, seeing what, what needs to be 
done there. And then I'll have a look at that. Have a look at this tomorrow. In daylight. And just see how it all looks. I'll be copying this off the screen actually, because it's much more detailed. At this point, I didn't really want to do a proper, normally I copy it from a really proper copy on, on photographic paper, but uh, I think I'll just copy from the screen for that. It's got to be right there. I'll we'll just get a bit of a different colour around here to show that's the bauble. When I get the detail in the bauble, you'll see that's the bauble. I hope. <laughs> we'll see.